So now I have already assembled uh, the Ender 3V2 3D printer which uh, looks good. Um, now I need to um, modify it to support pick and place function. So um, the first thing I will do is uh, disassemble this one. And there are two fans here and what I need to do is uh, basically uh, make this two wire um, reconnectable so uh, I have I have got some um, components here this is small component which is the uh, connector uh, with this connector then we don't we don't have to uh, solder the wire we can just uh, put the wire in and then and then press it then use those two they can actually um, connect together so it's uh, very easy then I will just use this one to place here so it make it easier to connect and also yeah, you can see here see it's like this connected like this and then the red to red and the black to black so that's the, the polarity is correct like this now we have the connection Hello. okay so now now um, the sign is turning so just now this uh, wire is a little bit too thin so I had to strip out some of them and then uh, plug that in. So it will be it's uh, it's easier now. It's you can see the fan is actually uh, turning. So if I turn off, yeah, which is good. So I will do the same for this one, this wire as well. So when you flip over, uh, you can see the yellow is on the same side like this so yes now we are ready with the um, with the fan case so basically when when we want to change we can remove we can remove this one so now I have uh, take off this one so um, you can see this is um, the socket that I'm using it's um, nicely taking off here so next thing is to design the adapter for the Ender 3v2 um, so you can see it's like this and I also um, designed it the uh, clipping here so this is to make it very um, stable when um, mounting to the end of the whole end and I also have these two holes here and then on the other side I also make an arrow to indicate the uh, recommended uh, print direction um, but also when I design I keep in mind that I it can also be printed with the other direction um, so you can see this slope there 
and then when you flip to the other direction you can see um, yeah this this can also be supported because of this shape and you don't need any support to print this one so yeah so now I have print out the 3d model so you can see um, it's like this there are two holes and also multiple mounting holes uh, you can put screw in here and also on the side you can see this is a click pin so that uh, it can be fit to the side of the hot and bed and then this one I screw it on top then you can actually um, put the nozzle head this one the nozzle head is still the same um, can screw the nozzle head on top so now I'm gonna mount this one and then turn this uh, Ender 3V2 into a pick and place machine Okay, so I just need to, before I mount it over, I just need to check um, roughly if the position is the same on the same, um, the X axis of the, the nozzle head so that we, um, we have the, the similar range of the movement for the uh, pick and place machine. So now it looks good, so I will um, put in some other screws. Again, I will share the adapter model, 3D model on my website, so you can uh, go to the website and download it, or um, I will also put it later on the GitHub. You can also download from there. So you can see I put in four screw here. So this is very, very tight which is very good. Now I'm... Okay, now I'm gonna mount the, the nozzle head on top of the, the 3D printer. Okay, so now you can see it has been mounted nicely uh, to the... And this is also very solid. Yes, because I also have this quick so it's uh, the fixed is very well okay so now I've mounted the nozzle head to the under 3 v2 and you can see there this is this one is the any mega se and this is the under v2 and the 3 v2 so this is uh, the same uh, nozzle head can be used and the only difference is then the adapter okay so now I can I make the connector um, for this uh, air pump and the red one is the positive one and I also measured here the blue one is a positive one so when connected then um, the red one actually to the um, blue one and I can plug it in so now this is also connected which is uh, uh, very handy so we can just use use this connector um, then we can switch between um, this fan case and the nozzle head okay now so i have already mounted the build play on top uh, and also um, for the other parts together and you can see now it's uh, already up and running and the currently is doing the calibration job you can see there are two fiducias one is there one is here um, it's trying to calibrate the top camera and i'm just using the open pmp advanced uh, calibration camera calibration function and after that i also calibrate the bottom camera so this is uh, basically working and later on I will use it to print uh, to place my new uh, PCB board here um, so I, I will send a video out later for this one um, in all this is uh, pretty good and I adapted the, the uh, Ender 3 V2 3D printer 
And a few good things about this uh, printer is that uh, you can hear that it's uh, very quiet. So moving the X and Y axis, it's, uh, it's a pretty um, low noise. You can barely hear that. And then um, another good thing is that for Z movement, this is also very quiet. So um, for this mainboard, it use uh, all the um, silence uh, motor driver. Uh, which is better than the other one, which is the um, uh, Anycubit Mega SE I have, which makes it uh, beneficial because when moving the Z axis, then it's also like um, low vibration. That means it, you can place uh, faster. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the good thing about this uh, 3D printer. I will um, use it. I will also give um, more tests and then I will summary. I will make a summary of uh, how well um, basically this uh, 3D printer is, and um, I will for this adapter. I will also put it to the uh, GitHub, and also um, I will put it on my website. You can go there and have a look. I still need some more tests, but so far it looks good. So it will be updated quite soon. Okay, so if you think my video is uh, interesting to you, just like and subscribe and I'll make some more videos about this uh, converting and um, in the meantime, if you have the 3D printer you want to adapt, just uh, uh, let me know about the uh, like the dimensions of the screw hole of this hot embed and I can also adapt for you. So yeah, that's it and thanks for watching, see you next time.